one of France's best-known street artists, on display in something that resembles a museum. The pseudonymous artist known as Invader is famous for his mosaics inspired by early computer graphics mounted on walls and street corners the world over. This is very rare because Invader's preferred exhibition space is in the street. Today he has exhibited in 188 cities around the world, in 32 countries. It's a diverse and distinctive body of work more used to informal settings. The curator of the exhibition says the venue, which in past incarnations was both a multi-storey car park and the offices of Liberation newspaper, is ideal for showing Invader's work. I think it really belongs in an enclosed space like this, which isn't exactly a museum. It's a bit of an urban space, as you can see when you walk around here. It's a disused building in its raw state. Invader's pop art inflected work carries a nostalgic charge, particularly for children of the 1980s. But his interventions have not always been welcomed. He always works at night alone or with an assistant, to plant his invader, because it's still completely illegal. And don't forget there are still countries where he's not allowed to go because he's been prosecuted for damaging urban space. So despite his international fame and the enthusiasm for his work, it's still very much illegal. Many Parisians will already be familiar with Invader's work, even if they don't realise it. This exhibition is likely to acquaint a wider public with the artist, a man of mystery who prefers to work under cover of dark.